Oh, it hit the road, Jay. That's kind of what was coming through for you, your Scorpio. <laughs> I was meditating on your energy before I turned on the camera. And um, <laughs> I'm beckoning this with the, the deck right here as I'm shuffling. The Mother of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, there is, a, um, I'm hearing a heavy conversation, a serious conversation. One that has almost like, it's like bits of this conversation have accumulated over time to reach the point of uh, now sort of um, feeling that, that we've, now we've, I'm hearing we're carrying a satchel and it's almost like, uh, it's almost like I'm seeing it as like a luggage filled with words. I'm hearing empty, the empty bucket. I'm hearing the void, whatever that may mean. I'm hearing silence here specifically, maybe dealing with an individual, um, Specifically, I'm hearing with a lot of water on the chart, out pops here, the Daughter of Cups, maybe a rare own energy, the Wheel of Fortune upright, the Eight of Cups upright, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords is mirroring the Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups is mirroring the, the Daughter of Cups. I'm hearing revisiting. I'm hearing specifically the path. The path, I'm... I'm mentioning, I'm hearing though uh, the past, okay, the Three of Cups, the uh, Mother of Pentacles at the base of this Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Cups. You have the card of Leo in the Major Arcana coming out, Strength Upright, the Sun of uh, Wands in reverse, looking over at the Strength card, the Five of Cups upright, mirroring Strength. You are, it's almost like this, I'm seeing you at a crossroads. As, uh, I'm hearing Sagittarius, Scorpio, the Ace of Cups popping out, mirroring the strength card. What do you want, Scorpio? What are you setting your sights on? Your intention towards. It's energetic, I'm getting. It's spiritually based, I'm hearing for a number of you. There's a focus on um, passion out pops the father of wands right over the nine of pentacles in reverse you i'm hearing you're at the juncture point scorpio what is it that you want to create the two of swords here mirroring the seven of swords in reverse it's a matter of your personal ideology scorpio the judgment card here in reverse that the two of swords is alluding to you're i'm hearing it's like you've got i'm seeing you with like a needle and there's like this big balloon and uh, as i say that the hangs man here popping out in reverse right over the fool upright the five of pentacles uh in reverse mirroring the hangs man in reverse the six of wands in reverse right after the five of pentacles the daughter of wands in reverse mirroring here the five of pentacles uh in reverse you i'm hearing are commissioning work for a number of you there may be another individual involved on the dl and aries leo sagittarius the sun here popping out the eight of swords it's i'm hearing it's time i'm hearing it's time that we that we uh that, that we let this clock begin to tick i'm hearing on its own and there's a certain sense of i'm getting it as like a chain reaction that you feel it's like i'm, I'm gonna just set it off i'm hearing for a number of you um i am hearing i'm gonna speak my mind i'm hearing for a number of you um there is a feeling though scorpio of uh there being a certain practicality a physicality that has accompanied this experience that may have been perhaps inherently emotional and getting physical though as well and it's almost like there's been perhaps an overlap between matters that are inherently emotional energetically based spiritual as well as you may perceive it um and that which is i'm um, um uh, perhaps physical perhaps also a matter of what it is that we are i'm hearing a uh, materializing specifically what we are experiencing in a material form you may be making major communication i'm hearing communicative efforts here uh the ace of swords popping out mirroring the fool and it totally rebounds i'm hearing offsets the tempo of the emotional experience that has been sort of cyclical as i'm getting it for a number of you coming in from the past and it's almost like when i speak i'm hearing when i speak my mind i'm hearing specifically I shatter, I'm hearing this glass room. I'm hearing the ceiling and the chandelier. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. You are recognizing the power of your words. Um, and I'm getting it as being um, in a way that, uh, as you feel it, it's like, I recognize just how much of an influence I'm hearing as well. My words hold I'm hearing specifically over my performance for a number of you, but also um, in relation to what it is that I'm experiencing again on an emotional level. And it's like the power also of my thoughts, of my mind, of what I'm hearing I communicate about even, what it is that I'm hearing I give the breathing room to speak about, um, opens up a certain energetic, I'm hearing pathway, portal I'm hearing for a number of you to change. And <clears throat> you have here the Nine of Cups here in reverse in the deep past that leads into the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Dear Scorpio, two nines here leading into the Father of Wands. You're, no, you, I'm hearing you've turned your back. I'm hearing 
uh, from from I'm hearing behind, I'm hearing from the hind, from the from the but from behind the scenes, whatever that may mean specifically for a number of you, um, <clears throat> uh, and you are not turning. I'm hearing back. Uh, there is a focus on perhaps as I'm getting it for a number of you, Scorpio. What uh, in a certain way you've been so engaged in, and it may have been related to matters of the heart. Uh, the heart. I'm hearing the home. Uh, overlap between perhaps what is uh, experienced on an emotional level on an, on, an, on a sort of uh, in, 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 a, in a personal way and <clears throat> how it is that we are sharing that space with others four of cups if we are sharing that space if we have been as we may have felt it uh, sharing that space, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, two tens here, and take it as you will, dear Scorpio. I'm hearing Capricorn here for you strongly with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of, uh, ten of Wands. Um, <clears throat> a culmination here, mirroring the Moon. There is clarity. I'm hearing when you choose to speak of what, um, uh, in a certain way, has been. Uh, I'm hearing uh, so so deeply. I'm hearing embedded. I'm hearing conversed about. Uh, Again, I'm getting it on like in a personal way. I'm getting it like in silence, whatever that may mean specifically for a number of you. And it's like these emotions they ha they have. I'm hearing uh, they they have personalities. I'm hearing for a number of you. They have um, a voices. I'm hearing as well. And it's like they are speaking. They're speaking. Um, how is it that then I am in a certain way leading and directing and navigating this emotional? Um, I'm hearing. Uh, 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 I'm hearing. Um, stage, okay, that in a certain way has um, been uh, related to related to my, I'm, I'm getting it as like what it is that I have uh, 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 in a certain way, how it is that I've sort of engaged and channeled my emotional propensity and there may be such a strong propensity here for a number of views i'm getting it related to the water archetype if you got a lot of water in your chart pisces cancer scorpio strong 12th house strong eighth house fourth house um so on and so forth okay there may be this propensity i'm getting as well that there is somewhat of a mirroring effect here i'm getting challenge here i'm hearing challenge here the daughter of cups um <clears throat> uh, uh horizontally to the nine of cups in reverse okay um <clears throat> Scorpio, I'm getting it's a, there's a focus on communication so strongly, so strongly, and it's um, it's uh, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm hearing it's a wave, it's a bout of uh, of, of readiness and preparation that um, has come so far. I'm hearing so far, so far, uh, and so long to um, be. I'm hearing to come full circle. I'm hearing to to also encircle its own uh, its its own. Uh, I'm hearing corpse, whatever that means specifically to a number of you, the lovers here. It's like something I'm getting the sort of feeling. It's like it was bound to sort of come full circle in a certain way. Okay, uh, I'm hearing where the where the lovers meet. I'm hearing where the two lovebirds meet. Um, the lovers is a card of Gemini and the major arcana. You may be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, I'm hearing Aries, a, another Scorpio, Sagittarius, though here with the lovers as well. Um, Beck and pull these two. The daughter of pentacles upright, the nine of wands upright. For a number of you, there may have been another individual involved here related to the earth archetype. Taurus, Virgo. I'm hearing Sagittarius and Scorpio, though, here as well, again with the Daughter of Pentacles. Um, there are, it's just I'm getting it for you, Scorpio. I'm hearing challenge. Again, there's been a sort of like, it's like, what, I'm hearing what, what are, I'm hearing where's the, I'm hearing where's the damn staircase? <laughs> I'm hearing for a number of you. Um, whatever that means specifically for you. It's like, uh, but uh, the sort of feeling it again is like, it's not necessarily, I'm hearing, I'm hearing an elongation of a path. It's somewhat, I'm hearing, a cyclical, okay? And the sort of feeling is like the two lovers, right? Sort of flying, uh, almost like encircling, I'm hearing pattern, habit, or whatever that may mean. Uh, I'm hearing twins, twins here with the lovers. Take it as you will. Um, and I'm getting here that whatever it is that has been so, I'm hearing deeply, I'm getting again in, embedded, I'm hearing in, enmeshed almost in an in visionary, uh, idealistic state as well is mutual. I'm getting, it's like on either side, there's a sort of mirroring. It's like what you're thinking, they're thinking. What you're feeling, they're feeling. What it is that they're emitting and they're projecting you're emitting and you're projecting and it's a sort of like interface that um, again uh, has been I'm getting emotionally based but that is now in a certain way being stimulated and prompted uh, to, um, to I'm hearing to 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 uh, practice I'm hearing um, the the performance in and of itself okay and it's almost like how is it that these horses are now on their course and uh, I'm hearing um, 
competing in the race, take it as you will, uh, could be taken, perceived, interpreted in a number of ways. The Four of Cups upright, mirroring the moon, or maybe focus here specifically on what it is that we, in a sort of way, it's like, I know eventually it would reach this point, I'm hearing specifically for a number of you. It, it's a matter of, of communication, I'm hearing specifically for a number of you. It's a matter of also um, uh, having the clarity of what it is that I am feeling. And uh, I'm getting it as like, there's been perhaps the desire to, it's almost like there's been this, again, I'm getting it as like a reflection. It's like, it's like okay, well, in the feeling space, it's like you enter this space, this room, Scorpio, as I'm feeling it for you. You enter this room, and in entering this room, it's like you enter the conversation I'm hearing that is, I'm hearing emotional, that is energetic. Um, and it's like in that space, okay, I'm hearing you meet yourself. I'm hearing you meet your higher self, whatever that may mean specifically for a number of you. I'm getting it as being also in a state of meditation and a meditative state um, for a number of you. There's a feeling of like, it's okay, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling double. I'm hearing, I'm seeing double, I'm hearing double. There's um, the feeling I'm hearing of what it is that I am feeling, others are feeling specifically. And I'm getting that maybe related to another individual, uh, the Four of Cups, perhaps again, uh, uh, related to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or again, your very own energy. Um, but there is illumination and clarity here. Again, being related to impending on what is actually spoken, what is actually also, uh, uh, I'm hearing confirmed, I'm hearing clarified as the principle of uh, our, our, I'm hearing our testament of personal, um, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing the ideology of our truth. And it's almost like, what is it that I'm projecting? What is it that I am, I'm hearing opening the door and I'm hearing calling in the name of, I'm hearing calling in the name to, and sort of feeling of like, of like, I'm the doctor, okay? Oh, I'm the doctor. I've got to open the door and call in the patient, sort of feeling, okay? Um, there is a focus perhaps for a number of you on labeling, also um, uh, specifically uh, legal work, strategic work, the mother of swords here, mirroring the empress, you may be dealing with an Aries, you may be dealing with a Taurus as well, you got the higher font smacked up in the middle, there may be a focus on a relationship that is uh, to, I'm uh, hearing underground, is to be um, uh, uh, almost like, uh, uh, I'm seeing it as like uh, brought afloat, I'm hearing specifically for a number of you, um, and I'm hearing given a life vest, okay, whatever that may mean specifically. There's uh, a conversation here that may be ongoing as it pertains to an individual with a lot of uh, fire in their chart. Um, you are being beckoned as I'm getting it uh, for a number of you to, um, I'm hearing, to, 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 um, I'm hearing uh, c confirm and clarify what it is that uh, y this experience resembles for you on so many levels. And I'm, ge I'm getting it as like the more sort of um, I'm getting practical even as well, uh, whatever it is that you sort of reference is, uh, the more I'm hearing surface room, uh, perhaps uh, related to the Aries archetype, there is to make change. And it's almost like the bigger the stage, uh, the more I'm hearing I can act. I'm hearing again, it's like more the more leg room I sort of have in a creative way. I'm hearing drive, driving, whatever that I mean specifically for a number of you. It's sort of like racing feeling, I'm getting it for a number of you here strongly. Uh, but, and what sort of sets how, how much real estate I have to sort of, uh, to, to, I'm hearing tiptoe along, uh, is determined by way of what it is that I uh, am, um, uh, I'm getting it as communicating again. And it's almost like my words, they proliferate as space. I'm hearing room, they create room. And I'm seeing it literally, Scorpio, as like the words that you speak. It's almost like they're air bubbles. And they they open a certain, um, they open, I'm hearing uh, their, their portals, okay? Specifically here, I'm getting for a number of you, Scorpio, okay. Um, but falling on the ground, the Father of Wands, I'm hearing where 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 is she? I'm hearing here with the Father of Wands. Uh, where are they? I'm getting specifically. Um, I'm hearing in the performance, and they're maybe focused on perhaps situating uh, the position of. I'm hearing specifically perhaps an individual with a lot of air. Uh, I'm hearing air, fire as well, though in their chart. Somebody who is let's say strategic, perhaps incredibly intellectual. Very very very. Uh, I'm getting very strategic. Okay. Uh, also, I'm getting diplomatic for a number of you. Uh, but the Father of Wands. Um, as well, someone who I'm hearing knows how to play the part. Okay, it's like a sort of it's like they know how to read the script and they also know how to act it out. Okay, um, and uh, there may be a focus specifically on the role that 
they uh, are to play, and that is uh, again a reflection of what it is that you are sort of. Uh, 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 I'm getting it as like um, asserting as uh, your projection of uh, this experience that has been again experienced on an emotional level as well as on a level that is um, uh, almost like perceptive. Okay, as well. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning into your reading. Love and light to all here. Enjoy the full moon in Capricorn. Love and light to you all as you move into these abundant culmin culmination of uh, beginnings. Um, right, the full moon speaking absolutely of a certain sense of illumination and clarity. The full moon, right, typically speaks to culmination as it pertains to what has been said as an intention about six months prior, the new moon, around the time of the new moon in the same sign that the full moon is in. So feel free to think back like six months, what was sort of going on around that time? What was I setting as an intention? May uh, be coming back around the mountain as a focus right here, right now. And I'm getting a focus specifically here with the fool. Um, thank you so much again, Scorpio, for tuning in. Loving light to all here. Enjoy this period of the full moon in Capricorn. And I'll see you soon. Bye.